Welcome to The Cricket Show. I'm Laura McGoldrick with Mark Richardson and Simon Dill. Here's what's coming up for you tonight. So ahead of Auckland's third successive HRV Cup final, we caught up with their team that is looking to make history by becoming the first outfit to win the New Zealand T20 competition twice. Welcome to a very special edition of The Cricket Show. Coming to you tonight live, I'm proud to say, from Hagley Park in Christchurch. I'm Laura McGoldrick, joined by Mark Richardson, CEO of Canterbury Cricket Legion and Black Cap Dean Brownlee. Tonight we are celebrating cricket coming back to Christchurch almost a year on since the devastating February earthquakes. We thought we had better ask our regular guest Jacob Oram, who is away playing for the Central Stags in the HRV Cup, what his moment of the year was. And his answer was um, somewhat predictable. My highlight of 2011 undoubtedly is the quarterfinal victory. He says the quarterfinal victory, but he totally means because he won man of the match. <laughs> the game, the game that I own, The game basically. that was mine. <laughs> Brendan McCullum, good lord, trying to prove a point or what? Um, that's a great T20 innings. You've played a few of your time. How does that one rate? Yeah, it's good. Um, obviously, just very happy to uh, to get the job done, um, especially when leading as well. So we've had a bit of a tough campaign in the team. Tell me a bit more about Duffy and his three wickets. It must have been great to watch for you. I mean, an older player, seeing a young kid like that come in. Yeah, it was great. I met him yesterday. Um, so it was, uh, it was it was pretty cool. Met up with him last night. I had a brief chat to him. Just said, well, I said to him, just go and do what you've been doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm here with newly appointed co-captain of the Chiefs, Liam Meeson. Congratulations. Now, can I take it, seeing as that you hear that you are a fan of cricket? Yeah, I support my Knights boys, and uh, I like the uh, 2020, but I'm not big fan of the test match so it's good to come down here it's uh, pretty short so get to watch a bit of cricket you'd look good in pink i think you can play a bit of tweet do you play uh not really i had a hit before to hit some uh, balls to the crowd and they go very fast so uh, yeah i might just stick to rugby so the black caps head off to the world cup this week and it means they're going to be in india for three months which is a long time to be without your home comfort so i thought i'd catch up with ross taylor before he heads away and uh, give him some of his favorites here we go right Hey Ross, how are you going? Hi Laura, what do you want? I come bearing gifts. Okay, <laughs> Thanks buddy. You have potato and gravy? Of course I do, don't be silly. OK, so the power balance looks cool, and that is clearly what I appreciate most about it. I, I think with the power balance, it's a little bit like eating 12 wheat bix before you go out to play, or a tin of peaches, or you wear the same underwear, or the same socks. I think it's, it's all up here, and if you think it makes you play better, then it probably will. No, get me. <laughs> I'm Laura McGoldrick, and over the next hour and a half, we'll be celebrating the cricketing achievements from the 2010-11 cricket season. Shortly, we'll be crossing live to Eric Young for the main event, but first, let's meet some of the stars in attendance. I'm here with Black Caps captain Ross Taylor. Ross, it's cool that we have a night like this to celebrate New Zealand cricket, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's, it's to, I guess, um, you know, look at people's achievements over the last 12 months and, uh, and recognise them, so uh, you never know, I might even win one too. <laughs> Fingers crossed, Maybe. fingers crossed. Who of the two of you takes the longest to get ready? Because I know Brendan's hair doesn't do itself. Easy. Him, definitely. <laughs> Brendan, your thoughts on that? No, that's complete lie. <laughs> so that is it from us tonight on The Cricket Show. Make sure you remember to watch our Cricket Show special on Sunday and tune in to the third and final ODI tomorrow where the Black Caps hopefully will make it three from three against Zimbabwe. We leave you now with the best bits from the last two games. Good night.